Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a tour of what the garden is looking like at the end of November. So we're going to start with the green stalk and as you can see some of the garlic I planted at the bottom has started to come up. And there's some lettuces and that's Mizuna right there at the top. So we're going to swing over to the patio garden and look at some of the herbs. And the mullein is still doing great. There's some bee balm. The valerian is starting to get a little yellow. And the dandelion is looking fine. So this is a new bed I prepared for some root vegetables. I'm going to put some more carrots and uh, beets in there. And that other bed already has some radish and beets. And this is what the elderberry plants are looking like. So all of the leaves are starting to come off of those. And I'm gonna try to prune it back and maybe start some cuttings from that. But I'll do that closer to spring. So we'll swing over here and take a look at this bed. And it has some seedlings in it that I started. Some Chinese cabbage, red cabbage, there's Brussels sprouts. And the big one at the back is a borage that uh, seeded from the bed above, a seed dropped over in that group. And in this round bed, I just packed as much stuff as I could. There's calendula around the side. There's some garlic in there. There's all kinds of kale, premier kale, thousand head kale, red boar kale. I have some leftover strawberry plants and echinacea. So I packed it with as much as I could and we'll see how that works out. And this is how the two garden boxes are looking. I have them covered with insect netting and I'm gonna open them up and show you what's inside. So as you can see, there's a drastic difference in the sizes of the plants in this bed. So the ones to the left are the nursery starts that I bought. And on the right right here, we have the seedlings that I started. So there's some broccoli rapini, Morris heading collards, broccoli romanesco, purple sprouting broccoli, and so now we have some Vates collards in the back and flash collards in the front and some curly mustards. And there's even some Bloomsdale spinach tucked inside of there. Moving over to the second bed, you can see that everything in here is much larger than any of the seedlings I started. Everything in this bed was started from plant starts that I got from the nursery. And I wanted to show it to you all before I did my Thanksgiving harvest. And these first two plants here are Brussels sprouts. And then we have some collards. I think these are Vates collards. And there's two plants and then there's the broccoli and these red mustard greens were labeled garnet giant mustard greens so I have a couple of those in there and there's a rainbow Swiss chard in closer towards the back I have another garnet giant mustard green plant and there's another broccoli plant and tucked right in here is some kohlrabi white kohlrabi and I think there's two of those I'll try to find the other one And there's the second one. And this is how the second bed is looking before I harvest it. All right, so that's what's in the boxes. And we'll keep going and look at the second round bed. But first we'll stop and take a look at how the elephant ears are looking over here. 
So in this brown bed, there's all cabbages. And this big purple cabbage in the front is a Ruby Perfection cabbage. And then this other is a Stonehead cabbage. And these three plants in the back are some Chinese cabbage that I started from seed and they're called Hilton Chinese cabbage. And then there's another smaller Ruby Perfection cabbage in the back and I think this back area gets less sun. So it is smaller than the other one. Heading around to the other side, there's some gumfrina or bachelor buttons and a purple basil plant and dahlias all on its way out. And these were two starts I had left over, some flash and Bates collards in the front and some sugar snap peas in the back. And this is how my Jamaican sorrel hibiscus plant is looking now. All of the leaves are gone and I just have a few roselles left on there that I was saving for seed. And this is the apple trees. And then right here, I cleared out a spot that hopefully I'll use for some in-ground planting next spring. And these three pots are all carrots that are starting to sprout that I started from seed. And this pot has some dying ashwagandha and stevia plant that went to seed. Another pot of carrots. And then next to the carrots are giant leaf mustards. So I have a couple of those in there and also I have a red boar kale tucked in. And this other pot is just curly kale and red boar kale. And then here's another ch pot of Chinese cabbages. And this is my Miwa kumquat that has a couple of fruits on it. And then that's some comfrey that I bought from the nursery and my lavender. And then these three pots are some more collards and lettuces and pot choy that I'm keeping covered, trying to keep it away from the squirrels. And this is my burdock. And then the strawberry tower with the petunias at the top. I have a blueberry plant and rosemary and that's some lemongrass that I'm overwintering. And that's some eucalyptus and inside of there is some St. John's wort. You can see that it's trying to take over the bottom of the pot but it's not flowering. And some lemon verbena. This is how my moringa tree is looking now. And then tucked behind here, I started some more herbs. And there's just a couple of pots of mint and some parsley and thyme and cilantro. And there's another thyme plant. Over here is my new fig tree that was given to me by my sister-in-law. Thank you, Maisha. And I'm looking forward to seeing that grow in in the spring. And this is one last look around. This is how we're looking in the fall. And so I was able to harvest and I'll show you all what my Thanksgiving harvest of greens was looking like. So this was my harvest of greens. And this was part of my contribution to the Thanksgiving meal and they tasted delicious. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the rest of the fall season. And then it'll quickly be time to get started with spring planting. So happy growing.